Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Food According to El Roca. Hi, guys. So today we're making ginger beer, chamere. Some would call it that, chamere, but it's a ginger beer. It's a delicious ginger uh, drink that you can serve cold. The ingredients are just 50 grams of uh, ground ginger, 8 cups of sugar, 2 tablespoons of to, uh, tartaric acid, 2 tablespoons of cream of tartar, 10 liters of water, pineapple peels, chopped fresh ginger, and some raisins. That's all you need. And then we're going to let it ferment for some days. We, jo we don't just serve it immediately. But if you want to serve it immediately, I guess it's still it's still okay. But it's it's nicer when you serve it after leaving it for uh, like two days or so. So we're going to start by putting five liter into a big pot. And then after putting five liter, you're going to put your sugar in there. Remember, we're making 10 liter, but you're going to use five liter for now. And then you're going to put your, your ginger. A cream of tartar, tartaric acid, and then you're gonna put uh, a, a whole uh, the, that whole pack of ginger into that water, and then from there you bring it to the boil, and then after bringing it to the boil, and then you're gonna let it simmer for like forty to forty five minutes. You want it to reduce while while that is happening, and then you are going to cut your your peels. So we use we we're not using the whole pineapple. We're just gonna use the peels of a pineapple. It's part of the fermenting process. So you're gonna peel your pineapples. Those are the ones you can just eat or make a smoothie with them. And then we're gonna cut our ginger. So I also add this fresh ginger in there, even though I used the the, the ginger powder because I want to deepen the the ginger flavor in in, in this uh, um, uh, mixture so as you can see it's it's busy boiling and then i let it simmer for 40 to 45 minutes after that and then you see it has reduced now and then you let it cool for a little bit and then you are going to add your pills and the the, the extra ginger in there and then the the, the raisins also are going to go in them and then you're going to close close it and let it, you know, cool down with that. Add the, that extra 5 liter that we put aside. You're going to add that in there. And then you put it in a 10 liter bucket. Close it. And then I always cover it. You, you, you put it in a warm place, but I always cover it with a blanket. And leave it for 2 days. About 2 days. Leave it like that. Don't open it. Don't do nothing to it. And then after two days, then you can take it out. It will be ready to, it will have deepened that uh, ginger flavor. And then you're just going to strain, you can strain all those, um, you know, uh, peels and the, and the, and the, the spice, the spice, the ginger spice. So you can use that to, 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 to drain it. Either a, a, a a cloth or you if you have a fine fine strainer you can use that anything that you have and then it is ready to serve you can chill it in the fridge and if you want to stop the fermenting process all you have to do is put it in the fridge and it will stop the fermenting process and then it's ready to serve serve it cold it is so delicious you can serve it during a party or when you have guests over and you know every time we have mahadi what we call mahadi uh, when they are paying Lobola, they always have this drink. It's delicious. Please try it. And thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. And as I have said before, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe um, uh, and like the video. And if you have any comments or if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. And all the ingredients that I've used here, I'm going to put them in the description section. You can just go there and you'll get the whole, uh, the, or, or a list of all the ingredients that I've, that I've used here. So thank you so much again for coming back and watching this video. I hope you're going to enjoy it.